What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new documentary feature, Procession. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Wow, this documentary shakes me to my core. I mean, I knew it was gonna be emotional because of the topic, which is about Catholic Church sexual abuse, so that's never easy to discuss. But what Procession gives you is a staggering look at an earth-shattering, unconventional method towards therapy and healing. This is unlike anything I've ever seen. Not only is it thought-provoking, but it will also probably get mixed responses from audiences. Audiences who will question whether or not going this far is necessary and healthy. Be that as it may, I still think that this docu is a must-see, for the reason that it will at the very least spark conversations. Directed by Robert Greene and produced by Susan Bedusa, Bennett Elliott, and Douglas Tarola, made in consultation with Joe Eldred, Mike Foreman, Ed Gavigan, Dan Loreen, Michael Sandrich, and Tom Viviano, in procession, six Midwestern men, all survivors of childhood sexual assaults at the hands of Catholic priests and clergy, come together to direct a drama therapy, inspired experiment designed to collectively work through their trauma. As part of a radically collaborative filmmaking process, they create fictional scenes based on memories, dreams, and experiences meant to explore the church rituals, culture, and hierarchies that enabled silence around their abuse. In the face of a failed legal system, we watch these men reclaim the spaces that allowed their assault, revealing the possibility for catharsis and redemption through a newfound fraternity. So yeah, these victims who are now grown men get together to film scenes that would convey their painful experiences as children. Now, I'm not a psychologist. I don't know what the steps to healing are. I assume they're different for everybody. But this, this just seems so radical. Some of them even play the role of the priest. I mean, it must take a lot of courage for them to even say yes to the idea. The other aspects of this docu also focus on allowing the much needed space for these men to open up. And fully knowing that most of their abusers are still out there roaming free will understandably infuriate you. This documentary is infuriating and that's good because if you're not pissed at the fact that church system and justice system failed them, then the point of this docu is not getting through to you. Now, I'm not familiar with director Robert Greene's previous films, but I respect his approach with this one. He's very patient in his process and he lets the men have full control at guiding where the docu needs to go. And if everything chronicled in this docu doesn't already deeply move you, the final scene will, because trust me, it is as powerful as it gets. I am humbled and in complete awe of it. You may disagree, you may think it's a tad bit much, but hey, if this method works for them, then who are we to look down on it?